Um, exciting.ly We had some hatch last night, and so Anne set up a little slide, awesome. and we can see them swimming around with their little cilia, little day old, two day old abalone. Um, but I'll have y'all kind of gather down here so you're not staring at the sun. Maybe you are staring at the sun if that's how we do them normally in the afternoon. So all my all my shade spots are thrown off. But so this is our hatchery. This is where we make all our baby abalone. Um, are you guys, is anyone familiar with how abalone reproduce? A little bit. A little bit? It's like release gametes, right? Yeah, so they're broadcast spawners. So in the wild, females release their eggs, males release sperm, and they just hope those two find each other in the water column. Um, so not always the most effective reproductive strategy if they have <laughs> low densities. Um, what we do here is we take our females, we put them in little buckets, put our males in buckets, and add some chemicals that encourage them to spawn. And then we collect the eggs and sperm and mix them together ourselves. So with our abalone, we know exactly what parent generation they're from. And we keep track of that just so that we know we're not crossbreeding too much and creating some weird tea calf species of abalone. <laughs> Yeah, so they, in the wild, they'll spawn in the springtime. Um, here, um, as an abalone farm, ideally we spawn them year round. Um, so this time of year, it's harder to find broodstock with good looking gonads. So what we, you'll, it'll make more sense later, but we check all our abalone to see if they have eggs or sperm. And this time of year, they're just not producing those as much. So we have to do a couple of workarounds. Um, we try to make sure our broodstock tank always has food availability so that they um, can focus their energy towards that. And then we also give them some of our red algae, which seems to just kind of boost that donut a little bit. Um, I don't think there's like an official study. It's just kind of what seems to be working right now. Um, so we just did, I think there's four new spawns in there. And then there's one from June as well. So those will be the big guys when we go in. Um, abalone don't look like abalone right away. So these are what the eggs and sperm look like. Um, the eggs, we check that you have like a nice, like it's nice and centered um, within the cell. Um, and then when we fertilize them, they start to develop within the first hour and start spreading. This is Willow. Um, she's super sweet. Um, there's also probably going to be puppies soon. Uh, I don't know where they are, but normally they make themselves pretty clear. <laughs> so you'll see them. Um, so within the first hour, they start to divide. And then within the first day, they or within after a day, they'll hatch into these little guys. Um, so these are what you guys will see on the slides. They're just little free swimming little dudes. Oh, Parker's here. Parker. Hi, Parker. He's, he's super sweet. He's just also thinks he's security. <laughs> so he's like, who's here? I was just saying the puppies might show up. Oh, yeah. I locked them in the office. Nice. Good, how are you?